In this video, we'll be reviewing the latest Skyrim mods that are worth your attention. We've carefully selected mods that we believe you'll find interesting and helpful, so be sure to watch until the end. We'll start by reviewing mods related to buildings and environments. First up is Freak's Floral Fields, a cathedral grass overhaul. This mod enhances Skyrim's environment by making the grasslands more realistic and diverse. Utilizing assets from Dr. Jacopo's 3D grass library, it faithfully recreates Skyrim's natural surroundings. The mod adds various types of grass and plants, making the in-game environment more vibrant and visually stunning. For instance, in Riverwood and Falkreath, green plants adorn the brown leaf-covered ground, while in Whiterun, a mix of brown flowers and green plants decorates the area. The mod also offers several adjustable options through faux mod. Even on its own, this mod significantly improves Skyrim's flora, providing a high level of completion. If you're looking to change Skyrim's plant environment, or if you like the plants shown in the video, this mod is definitely worth trying. Next up is Skyfall's Fortified Morthal. This mod completely transforms the village of Morthal in Skyrim, enhancing its unique atmosphere to emphasize the eerie swamp village feel. It heightens the desolate ambiance and danger of Morthal, while providing a practical fortified village design. All structures, including farmhouses, the Jarl's Hall, gates, walls, and watchtowers, are redesigned with unique aesthetics. Additions like a dancing well, woodpile shelter, and appropriate decorations enhance immersion. The basic layout of the village and houses remains unchanged to ensure maximum compatibility with other mods. Watchtowers are added to the village's outer walls, adorned with siege crossbows to further elevate the atmosphere. This significantly enhances Morthal's ambiance, aiming to provide players with a more interesting and memorable experience while exploring. It gives Morthal a unique identity making the village more attractive. Experience the new look of Morthal. Next up is Stony AF Markarth Complex Parallax Material. This mod enhances the textures of Markarth and Dwemer ruins by supporting complex parallax materials, which emphasize surface roughness and dynamic cube maps, making Markarth more realistic. Consequently, this mod improves texture details by highlighting surface roughness and glossiness enhances metal reflection effects using dynamic cube maps, and provides ENB users with more realistic graphics through complex parallax material settings. This significantly improves the visual quality of Markarth and Dwemer ruins, thereby increasing the game's immersion. In this segment, we'll be reviewing outfit and weapon mods. First up is J3 Elegant Explorer. This mod features an Elegant Explorer outfit, with a striking white inner shirt, leather pants, and boots. The outfit has a somewhat suit-like appearance, and the leather material makes it a great match with a backpack. It can be crafted at the forge and offers optional 4K textures for enhanced visuals. Next up is Amsadiller Runes of Thorns. This mod adds a new armor set called Runes of Thorns, based on the 3BA and BHUNP bodies. The set is divided into seven parts, each of which can be crafted. It visually suits fast and agile characters, and the skirt has physics applied, making it compatible with FSMP. The mod also provides a one-handed sword and a greatsword, which complement the armor set perfectly when used together. Next, we have the Valenwood Ranger Armor Mashup. This mod adds a new light armor set to Skyrim, Originally created for the follower mod Ari, it was released as a standalone outfit due to popular demand. The outfit consists of a cuirass, boots, and gloves, and also includes a bow and arrows, making it perfect for archers. Additionally, it supports 3BA and CBBE body slide files, allowing you to customize it to your preferred preset. You can find the items at an altar near Honeystrand Cave, close to Ivarstead. Next up is the combination of the Battle Scythe, animated weapons, and mixed scythe mods. This mod's combination adds scythes to the existing weapon types in Skyrim and allows the use of a dedicated MCO moveset for scythes.
first. The Battle Scythe mod adds a total of 15 combat scythes to the game, each with unique designs and animations. By adding the Animated Weapons mod, you can include animations for Daedric Scythes, such as animations for drawing and sheathing the weapon. Additionally, by adding the Mixed Scythe MCO moveset, you can use Scythe-specific animations when wielding Scythe-type weapons. To do this, open the conditions.txt file in the Mixed Scythe MCO moveset folder and enter the condition values shown in the video. This will ensure that the moveset is only used when wielding Scythe weapons, which can be very helpful. In this segment, we will review creature-related mods. First up is Pesboss's new Ash Spawn female. This mod replaces the appearance of the Ash Spawn in the game with a new female character model, supporting textures from 2K to 4K quality. You can choose between versions with or without hair. Pius Boss's creature replacers are mostly themed around female nudity, so if you have been building your mod list with Pius Boss's creations, you might want to add this series as well. However, I couldn't install it because streaming a creature resembling a nude female live could be risky. Next up is Owl Bears, Mihail Monsters and Animals. This mod introduces a new monster to Skyrim, the Owl Bear, which is a hybrid creature combining features of an owl and a bear. It has the head of an owl and the body of a bear, and it is said to have been created by ancient alchemists. Unfortunately, you can only encounter this creature through summoning magic. It would have been better if they were appropriately placed in the field or inside caves. Additionally, it would have been great if some of them were designed as mounts. Next up is the combination of the roosters, chickens, and chicks mods. By using this mod combination, you can diversify the types of chickens in the world of Skyrim. With this mod combination, you can replace the single type of low-quality hen with high-quality hens of various random colors, as well as add chicks and roosters to Skyrim. I found this mod combination quite impressive because Skyrim originally only had one type of chicken. This mod combination allows for a greater variety of chickens and adds roosters and chicks, enhancing the immersion in Skyrim. I believe this mod can add a lot of vibrancy, and if you are looking for such details, I recommend adding mods like roosters and chicks to increase the liveliness of your game. In this segment, we will review interface-related mods. First up is Security Overhaul SKSE, Extra Locks, 11 New Locks. This mod adds 11 new lock models to the existing Skyrim locks, providing new designs for door locks such as Farmhouse, Vampire, Dawnguard, and Imperial locks, enhancing the immersive gameplay experience. The Security Overhaul series is already well known among modding players, as it is an SKSE plugin that displays lock designs matching various lock types when using lock picks. Think of it as applying a similar method to base object swapper for lock each lock. Off. It's one of the highly recommended mods, so I wanted to introduce it to you. Next up is the modern weight menu Astral Theme Viking design. This mod reimagines Skyrim's weight menu with a modern and unique design. Based on the original modern weight menu mod by creator Fallen, it adds an astronomical Viking theme. The mod applies a distinctive astronomical Viking design to the weight menu, providing a visually appealing experience. It supports 16.9, 21.9, and 32.9 monitors, making it compatible with various screen ratios. This mod redesigns Skyrim's user interface, enhancing the gameplay experience. Lastly, we have the sound mod called Distant Rolling Thunder. This mod adds subtle thunder sounds to Skyrim's outdoor areas under specific conditions. It is compatible with all weather mods and uses wind speed and weather classification flags to trigger the thunder sounds. The sounds are categorized into light, medium, and heavy, complementing weather mods effectively. Additionally, it enhances the variety of thunder sounds without altering vanilla records or files. Thank you for joining us for our look at the must-have Skyrim mods of August 2024. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more mod showcases, and hit the notification bell 
so you never miss out on the latest updates. Let us know in the comments which mods caught your eye, and if there are any you'd like to see us cover next. Happy adventuring, and we'll see you in the next video.